Uh, another victim of termites. That's what got this. This ate the roots up and it fell over. I believe that's the reason for a lot of these trees to go on. Uh, putting a little bit of storm drain or sanitary one in. They've been needing a lot of infrastructure done. Including our sidewalks. They're deplorable. Well, they need to add East Lake Station to their elevators that are out of service. I just tried to get down to get to number two, and the elevator ain't working. He's out there, there it is. Just over 1% relies on union support in key swing states like Pennsylvania and Michigan. The union's choice is significant as it was the first to back Biden early in 2019. Trump's campaign called it another blow to the Harris campaign. The announcement follows the Teamsters Union also deciding not to endorse anyone. Former President Barack Obama is hitting the campaign trail. Next week, he's set to start a 27-day sprint for Vice President Kamala Harris. He will stop in several swing states, including Pennsylvania. There's your next Obama's president first right there. Scheduled for Thursday in Pittsburgh. He's US been the president since uh, Biden got the elected. Deal. The agreement ends a three-day strike affecting East and Gulf Coast ports. The deal includes a wage increase of about 62% over six years. The workers' union has initially sought a 77% wage increase. The employer group previously offered a nearly 50% hike. Both sides agreed to extend their master contract until January 2025. They will then resume talks to hash out remaining differences. By Wednesday, 45 container ships were stuck at affected ports. President Biden praised the deal, saying collective bargaining works. Striking dock workers are heading back to work today. We're not going anywhere until it's our time. So this is a big turning point in the, in the history of this country. They're very, very quiet about how, very hush-hush about how they're going to do the security. Uh, and but the main concern of the people that I talk to is uh, very very sad about Corey. This this they don't talk about Corey. It should not have happened. The way it happened was wrong. The security was not there. Like I said, my son watched the guy on the roof crawl. They watched him shoot. That should have never happened, but it did. But as far as the community now goes, I have family members, friends. Everybody's going to the rally that I know, so I don't believe that it's deterred anyone. It's a little nerve-wracking because, of course, what's transpired in the last couple months, uh, it's like uh, anything can happen. It's, it, it's about Corey. The justice for Corey is there's a movement right now, and we're going to get the justice for Corey. And Donald Trump coming back and all memorializing Corey, that's great for us. I believe in guardian angels and i do believe sitting there and seeing him shot like that yes god has a plan for for trump and he absolutely was spared for some purpose and reason and hopefully it's to become the 47th president now former president donald trump won't be in budwater county alone tomorrow spacex ceo elon musk says he'll be there too lending a helping hand Musk replied yesterday to a post by Trump on X saying he will support Trump on Saturday. Musk wrote, I will be there to support. He called Trump tough and officially endorsed him after he survived an assassination attempt in Butler on July 13th. The rally will be held at the same site where Trump was shot in the right ear. A rally goer was killed when a gunman opened fire. The alleged shooter was killed by a Secret Service sniper. Trump survived another attempt on his life last month. Donald Trump's legal team is trying again to get a federal judge to dismiss some of the former president's criminal charges related to his 2020 election case. In a new court filing yesterday, Trump's lawyers argue some of the charges should be thrown out because of a Supreme Court ruling on how prosecutors bring obstruction cases. Over the summer, the Supreme Court narrowed how the Justice Department could use a felony obstruction charge to prosecute January 6th breaches. The decision is called U.S. versus Fisher. 
has prompted Justice Department prosecutors to drop that felony obstruction charge against a handful of the defendants and led to judges resentencing them. Trump is charged with the same alleged crime, obstruction of a congressional proceeding. However, prosecutors have previously said in court that Trump's case is different to the January 6 defendants affected by the Fisher ruling. And a busy day in politics yesterday as both presidential candidates made their cases to voters in battleground states. And today's Daniel Monaghan reports on the high stakes dueling events. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump campaigned yesterday in the swing state of Michigan. A fired up crowd cheered the former <laughs> president's name. Trump urged those in attendance to cast their ballots. Remember, early voting is beginning in just a couple of days. You must get out and you must vote. The former president vowed to restore the borders once and for all and reclaim American sovereignty. Together we will make America powerful again, wealthy again, healthy again, strong again, proud again, safe again. And we will make America great again. The event was in Saginaw County, which Biden won by a slim 303 votes in 2020, which contributed to his victory in the state. Trump has ramped up his focus on Michigan, holding two rallies there less than a week ago. Meanwhile, Vice President Harris was in the battleground state of Wisconsin. As people raised signs declaring country over party, Harris told the crowd that people must stand together to reject Trump. The vice president took aim at Trump, questioning his willingness to accept the election results. There is actually an honest question about whether one of the candidates will uphold the oath to the Constitution of the United States. Harris said the president of the United well, States you must not look at the country through the narrow lens of ideology or what she Thank called God. partisanship or self-interest. The president of the United States <coughs> must not look at our country as an instrument for their own ambitions. Our nation is not some spoil to be won. You Trump didn't uphold your oath. Harris. I tell you, I have never voted for a Democrat. That we have before the election. So it could very well have an effect. Now, people who are strongly for Harris or strongly for Trump are very committed. They will find a way to vote. But for those people who aren't so committed and they're trying to make ends meet, they're trying to figure out how to get to the grocery store or how to get power, how to get water, you can see them having a lot higher priorities right now than voting in an election. So it could depress turnout in those areas that are hardest hit. I want to get your thoughts. Yesterday, uh, Vice President That's Harris true. was campaigning in... Uh, Across the border, and note that it's peddling drugs, guns, and women across the 50 states. From urban centers like New York City to Chicago to Florida beaches and once tranquil Middle America. In Colorado, it says the gang even got a green light to shoot at police, according to a federal memo. And so this Latin American gang, coming mainly from Venezuela, is now wreaking havoc across the United States. And it's other gangs off. It's actually not just them. MS-13, the Mexican Mafia, 18th Street, very violent gangs. Many of these have networks that go between the United States and their countries of origin throughout Latin America. Evening, everybody. I decided to go out and get some oxygen. See all the trees? Best place for oxygen. Yep, and it uses carbon dioxide to produce the oxygen. 